everybody welcome back um, sorry I missed Sunday but uh, we had a uh, hazardous uh, atmosphere out here so uh, let me show you what we were talking about so uh, let's get to the car what uh, what have we been doing um, and talk about uh, getting ready for the extreme experience show which is 25th through the 27th down in the Springs um, so we're gonna Haul the car down there and show it off for a couple of days and uh, I hear that a high school is coming and uh, they're going to check out the car I don't think it's the whole high school I think it's just their shop class so that'll be cool we'll be able to uh, do some of that stem outreach that we're looking to do let's take a look at some of the things we're doing so one of the big things is uh, well because it's one of the biggest pieces on the car is the engine cover. Um, here it looks kind of like a mess. Uh, but uh, if we go over here and we grab some isopropanol, uh, we can try sp spraying the surface. And hopefully you can see uh, the kind of forged carbon look that we've got going on here. So. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, here's a picture of it uh, with uh, some clear on it so you can see it. So what we're doing is we're sanding it down. You see all these little rough spots here. These are where I'm uh, basically repairing some of the issues so you can see some of the fabric sticking through. So basically we just uh, uh, put a little bit of epoxy in the area wait for it to get tacky and then we stick down uh, some of the uh, chopped carbon fiber and then we uh, cover it in uh, thin epoxy to help saturate the material so that when we sand it it just doesn't come off in fuzz um, so I've got maybe half of it uh, sanded and then we'll put again another layer of epoxy on it uh, hit that with 320 and then hopefully we'll get to clear it uh, that will be determined by uh, how much uh, ash we're getting from the fires. So we'll see about that. The roof, which uh, you saw me clear before, has um, also, we've got, uh, I did this, redid this front side, as you saw in the uh, earlier video with some of the forged carbon fiber. Again, if we hit it with some of our ISO, you can kind of see that pattern there. This has been uh, flatted off multiple times and uh, getting ready for uh, that to be cleared. So uh, we've got to repair a couple of things like this where you see some of the body filler coming through where we went through the fabric. Again, it's a pain in the butt, but you got to do it. Um, and I think this will look a lot better when it's on the car. Over here, what we're doing is we're doing the uh, initial shaping of the door jam. So I've got this up. We've got uh, the uh, Dura glass going on on it. Um, I try to keep it to about an eighth of an inch uh, thick, but remember, this is all going to get covered in carbon fiber, so that'll help keep anything from cracking. Uh, we'll put another layer of actual body filler on top of that uh, to smooth it out real nice uh, before we cover it in carbon fiber. Now, I'm not going to do that uh, before the show. We're going to actually go ahead and uh, spray this uh, flat black primer. Uh, we're just going to shoot uh, most of the uh, front of the car primer because I just don't have time uh, to get everything else ready. Uh, for the uh, event, so it's just going to look uh, flat black in the front, but the back's going to look pretty pretty darn cool. Um, and we're going to try to get the uh, new dash in there as well. So we're gonna, we got to fi fix up some brackets and stuff like that. Um, I've been clearancing for the quarter windows, so we've got those here. Um, there's going to be a little bit of uh, rubber gasketing here that comes down the window so that the door seals uh, so there'll be a little bit of a gap here we're going to make those out of the uh, same polycarbonate that we did the windshield out of and by the way um, I really like the way the windshields turned out so 
it's uh, set in there. It's not going anywhere. Um, we've got a little bit of cleanup to do, and then I've got to hang the bracket for the rear view mirror. We'll get that in. Um, I'll get the uh, other seats in. We'll clean out the interior, um, take out the steel dash, put in the real one, and then we'll uh, polish it all up and get her ready for our little uh, event. Um, we're just going to take the car down there. Uh, maybe I'll drive it around the track ever so slowly once, but uh, we're going to be very cautious. I won't have any seat belts or anything in the car by then either. So uh, look for that. Um, so again, a short video, uh, just kind of keeping you up to date on all of the fun sanding duties that we're uh, attempting here. I think some of these parts are going to look really good. Um, we'll take another look in the beauty room uh, real soon and show you all of the other bits that we've been uh, getting ready for uh, putting on the car. I think next weekend we're going to finish up um, all of the sanding and the uh, painting, you know, the primer. <laughs> And then the weekend after that, we're going to get um, all of the bits back on the car, which will be nice because I'll bring it out and we'll do a walk around video of it out in the sunshine. So anyway, uh, we're supposed to get six inches of snow tomorrow, <laughs> which is a little uh, uh, insane even for us. It's supposed to be 95 today and then drop to, I think, a high of 36 or 35 tomorrow and six inches of snow. So... Yeah, Colorado. It's a very interesting place. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Um, hopefully that'll help with the fires and take some of the ash out of the air. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. And uh, we'll see you next time.